So let's move on to web app development. And when we're talking about web application development, we're really talking about the JavaScript 4 API. And the team's done a lot of work, not only on the technology, but on the developer experience around that technology to make your lives as developers better and more productive every single day. So to show us some of these developer experience improvements, I'd like to pass over to Jeremy from the JavaScript team. All right. Thanks, Ewan. As Ewan said, the team has been making a lot of progress to help you understand how to use the API better. From the SDK with rich tutorials to detailed guides to over 250 samples with detailed API reference. We're trying to help you be successful. If I take a look, uh, drill down into one of those tutorials, uh, like this one on configuring pop-ups, you'll see that it is a long-form tutorial uh, that gives you all the conceptual information and the detailed code to help you get started learning. I've done the same thing for developer tooling. Uh, we want to make it easy for you to integrate with various frameworks and whatever developer build tooling you're using. Like in this example of this Angular uh, walkthrough, uh, we tell you about uh, the ArcGIS API for plugin to bring the JavaScript API into your app, or Esri Loader. We'll come back to that. Excited to announce the next API. This gives you weekly access to development builds from the JavaScript team. So you don't have to wait until the end of a release to try your apps out. You can try it immediately and see updates every week. If I go into the change log, I'll see this was just updated yesterday, and I can see what's new. You can try that out even before the 4.15 release is put out the door. And there's a lot of detail here, and we're working to try to provide more information as we go, but also including all of the bugs that have been fixed, GeoNet posts, or other issues uh, that you, we want you to know about. We want your feedback back to us. So if you find an issue, fill it in, uh, and then let us help. You help us make our, our SDK even better. To access the next API, it's as simple as js.arcgis.com slash next. Another way we are continuing to improve the developer experience and end user experience is by modernizing the API. The API leverages the power of modern browsers to enable rich experiences, as you've seen throughout the morning. For example, full WebGL rendering, uh, WebGL, uh, full WebGL rendering, WebAssembly for client-side projection, and web workers for client-side query. We're also using native browser capabilities as they become available, like the INTL uh, ability to do number and date formatting. Now I'd like to tell you about an ongoing project that we're really excited about. We are working to modernize how the API is consumed for seamless integration with frameworks and developer tooling. With this seamless integration, you can integrate the API in an app by installing an NPM package and use any build tool you'd like, and it works without any additional build time plugins. In order to achieve this, we will deliver JS modules as an additional option alongside our current AMD modules. There are a few things we do in order to make this happen. First, we are working to remove Dojo. Browsers now have what we need, such as WebGL for graphics rendering, native promises for asynchronous tasks, and internationalization. So Dojo is no longer needed. You can see the progress we've made in this diagram at the bottom between last year's Dev Summit release and this year's Dev Summit release. Uh, the circles in yellow are classes in the API that uses a Dojo plugin. So you can see the progress we've moved to get rid of that. And we're nearly TypeScript complete. We actually have one file left, but by 4.16 will be completely written in TypeScript. The remaining work is to finish removing Jojo, create a new build system that makes it easier to create custom builds using modern build tooling. Here's an example of what your app, what your code will look like once the API is available as JS modules. Our goal is to have this work done by the end of the year.